In 2010, safety recalls affected 20.3 million vehicles. While many of the recalls were due to mechanical or electrical causes, an increasing percentage of recalls are due to software issues. The focus of this project is on evaluating these software issues which will lead to new architecture for the future of automotive software. We start with the ECU testbed. This is composed of two controllers and two gateways, networked by CAN. Four control systems are implemented on the ECUs which help in driving the car. Along with this is the Wii Remote which is used for the driver input, and the car which mimics the simulator. This is then connected to the driving simulator and vehicle monitoring system. Simulated sensor values are fed back to the test bed from the simulator for different controls implemented on them. The vehicle monitoring system plots real-time data from the simulated car. We shall now see how the implemented controls perform, starting with traction control. Traction control off. With the throttle pressed down completely, the wheels of the car continuously slip, providing negligible traction, making the driver completely lose control over the car. The slipping of the rear powered wheels can be seen on the monitor when the throttle is pressed down. Now with the traction control on, wheel slip is reduced by the ECU by modulating the throttle, even though the driver has the throttle pedal to the floor. The car stays on track, providing much better control and steering. Modulation of the throttle is confirmed by the monitor and we can also see that wheel slip has been restricted to a minimum. We now see the anti-lock braking system. With ABS off, when the brakes are slammed down in emergency or otherwise, the wheel stops spinning and the car starts to skid. The driver loses control over the direction of the car. In the monitor, we see that due to full brake pressure, there is extreme wheel skid till the car comes to a halt. With ABS on, even if the driver slams the brakes, the ECU modulates brake pressure and keeps the wheels rolling. This provides better steering and control under braking. The monitor shows us that whenever any wheel is about to skid above a certain limit, brake pressure is modulated by the ECU according to the amount of skid in that particular wheel, and the wheel continues to roll. Stability control. With control off, when the car tries to corner sharp bends at high speeds, hence having a high yaw rate, the wheels tend to skid and the final direction of the car is not in the intended direction. On the monitor, we can see that due to 100% throttle, the wheels start skidding, sending the car into a whirl, which is signified by the high yaw rate. Once the control is switched on, we see that as soon as the car starts to whirl, its speed is immediately reduced and is almost brought to a halt. The ECU modulates the throttle and the brakes based upon the yaw rate, even if the driver has the throttle completely pressed. Cruise control. Initially, the driver drives the car at his own speed. When the desired speed is attained, cruise control is switched on. The ECU then maintains the speed at which the car was when the control was switched on. As the driver accelerates, we can see the gear shifting automatically and the car speed increasing. When he attains the desired speed and switches on the control, the ECU takes over the throttle and maintains the speed at the desired speed.